harder. Yeah. And so if she didn't back up, you would have turned around and kind of uh, wailed the front of the rope at her. Okay. Now I'd walk off again. Yep, don't let her look around. She's looking. That's it. Good. Now try stopping again. That was good. She is getting a little closer, so be aware of that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so walk off again, and when you walk off, just keep looking back where she is. You're good. Yeah, now try stopping again. Now back her up. Hard. Yep. You want to make it so she never wants to come into your space because it's not pleasant. Should I turn and face her and back her? You don't have to. Okay. No. But before you start, you let your rope go, so you just want to make sure you pick it back up. Okay. But it's harder to do with the lunge line. We usually don't do it with that. Okay, so now walk off again. Yep, she's good. She's not looking around. She's focused on you. Now stop again. That's good. So now, like, if you want to pet her or something, you can, but you turn around and go into her space, pet her, and then when, if you were going to walk away again, you'd wiggle the rope as you're backing up so she knows not to come to you. Okay. So that's our communication. Like, no, you stay there. I'm going to go away. Okay. Yes. Yeah, now you can walk away. So that way she knows immediately not to go back into your space. I'm just videotaping so you can see it. Okay, so now walk off again. But see, now she's good. She's not looking around at all. Okay, now you can stop. Oh, back her up. She knows she did it because she turned her head to get out of your space. Usually I come in and then I just send her right out and she knows what to do. Okay. 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 Now 
Well, she didn't just go. I, would, I was just about to smack her in the shoulder. Okay. Okay. So it's not like she's trying to be bad. It's just she learns so much so quickly that sometimes they get it confused. Ow. Ow. Good girl. So I know exactly what she's trying to do. Because people go, she's being bad. And I go, I taught her like a hundred things. She's just putting them together because she, you know, does this to be careful. Good girl. So I'm going to turn her a little bit more this way. Uh -uh. And then I'm going to go quick that way so she can get cut. Yes. Okay. Um, well, and then I'll help you when we go to Tiana. So now you your circle get bigger. She cuts into the right, so you have to put that stick in front of you. Otherwise, she's going to lean right for the rest of her life. Your rope is in the wrong hand, and so is your stick. Yeah, but see, you were watching me, so I thought you knew what I meant. Look at me. So put your stick in front of you means this. Okay. You just videotape, and I said you gotta put your stick in front of you. <laughs> yes. Oh, just keep her out of here. That, yes, to keep her out. So send her the same direction. Put that stick out in front of you. See how she just came into your space? She won't do that if you're putting that in front. She is making the tiniest circle. Make it bigger. So kind of flick, yeah, don't, don't look at me for a second, go like this. So the string goes at her, but not with too much energy. Now it's getting bigger. So that's what I meant by putting it out in front of you. Okay. Not switching hands or anything. But see how I confused you and you speak English. So imagine what the horse is thinking. Now she's cutting in, that's it. Cause she doesn't want to run into the stick. So make like one more circle and then you're going to turn her and go the other way. Don't switch your stick before the horse has stopped. Because it'll confuse them. Okay? Because you're trying to be quick and then you'll get the rope and everything tangled up. So once they're stopped, then switch your stick. Get ready and then send her out yeah and the stick's always going to go at them to send them with energy so you know when you're sending them out always keep that stick in front of you aimed at their shoulder till they turn okay. so that's one circle yeah make sure you're staring at her hindquarter not her head and not her chest Yeah, you otherwise look fine, but this is her better direction, so it's easier. Yeah, so this will be like her third circle. So when you're ready, just turn her. Yeah. Now, be careful. If you say too much of that, she'll want to come into you. Yeah. So get organized and send her out the other direction. Make sure her head's going the correct way. Very good. Now get her out. That's it. Make her go out as far as she went to the left. Again, it's not her fault. She's not doing it on purpose. She's just weaker because they, you know, they didn't work on the right. Yep, so try to make that circle bigger. And the other thing you'll see is she's kind of leaning into the right. So keep using that stick to keep her away. Every time you see that rope drag, you know she's cutting in. Yeah, and just kind of keep it in front of you instead of behind you when you go this direction. And then when you're ready, she, I think she counted three. I'm serious. I told you smart horses are difficult. Okay, so send her the other way. Because I was just about to say to do it, to turn her. Okay. There you go. Okay, so now what I want you to do, let the rope go longer. 
Ask her to can her, and if she doesn't can her, you're going to get crazy with that whip. Uh-huh. Now go with the stick. Harder, harder, till she goes. There you go. Keep her going. Yeah, and you can steer. She doesn't have to can her over the pole. She can go around him, but you got to walk a bigger circle. Yeah, make one more circle. Keep going. Always go at her with the stick. Not Don't swing it up and around. Good. Now bring her back to a trot. That's okay. Bring her back to a trot and then a walk and then turn her and stop. Breathe. Because we brought the energy up. Keep doing it. There you go. Okay. So look at me for a second. Don't let her come in though. When you when she's cantering, don't do this with the stick. It's a different energy. Do this at her, okay? Over, over here, not under here. Okay. It makes a difference. Oh, I bet. Yeah. It's a whole different energy. Yes. Okay. So now you're gonna send her to the right. We're gonna trot a little, and then we're gonna canter that way. Good job. Yep. You'll know when you're better because she's going to do it right. Now make your circle bigger. She's cantering. That's okay. So go ahead and ask her to canter and just kind of steer her around the, the pole so she doesn't have to go over it. Yeah, and walk your circle. Make it big so she doesn't have to go over the pole again. Yeah. You have to steer her. I'm trying to give her room. Literally going right over the pole. Yeah, that I told you that you don't have to go over. <laughs> but the only one steering is you. It's not her. Ask her to can her again. Canter. Don't ever stop with your stick till they do it. Now you can let her come back down to a trot. trot. Yeah, and then a walk and a stop. Breathe. Now let her stand for a second. Yeah. So again, this is her bad direction. So, you know, make sure she's out there as much as you can. So you can stay here and like then you're only going around the poles and you might be okay. Good job. Yeah, but be careful with the words because again, it'll make her want to stop. Keep going. Yeah, so go around one more time. And then you can bring her back to a T-R-O-T. <laughs> yeah, bring your energy down. You're doing good. In her mind, she thinks she's supposed to stop, but that's okay. If you don't want her to, we're different people. So again, she's just doing the things I make her do. Because okay. I usually do canter, stop, and turn. Okay. Well, then I just was trying to get you so it's not as, yeah. yeah. Yank as hard as you can. Yeah, you can always drop the stick, grab the rope with both hands. Now back her up. Yeah, and then just start again. But if that happens, drop the stick and use two hands. You're stronger. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you'll see she's a little amped up. So relax a little bit. Let the rope go. Make the circle bigger. And then you can ask her.
Good. Don't walk too much. You're going to make it too big and she'll be going over the poles. She's fast enough. Relax. Yep. You've moved so much you took her into different footing. So be careful because there are deep spots and that's why she's scrambling. Yeah. And if you want, like you can make the circle, you know, just so she goes around the pole and keep it that small. Don't make it any bigger. Yeah, you can can her there. Good. Now you keep her going, but don't be too crazy. And you're moving too much. You already took her in the wet spot. So look where that wet spot is. She's looking, but you're not. <laughs> I do, I see it. All right. Now easy, that's a little too much. That's better, canner. Now just ask her again. Good. Okay, so get one more canter and then turn her. She's getting tired, that's what's happening. Yeah. I think that's enough, don't you? No, you have to go the bad direction. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because okay. we stopped when she was amped up and crazy and now we only just went to the left. Okay, okay. So it's not for her, she's fine, It's this is for you. But that's why she's so, you know, all wet because we've been doing this long because, you know, know, we keep stopping and starting. You just tell me when she's had enough of each thing. Yeah, so on. once you get a good canter this way, then we're going to be done lunging. But remember, this is her bad direction. So make sure you have her facing you enough and then you'll be quick to with that stick to get over on this side. Lift that stick up off the ground. Now start. So pull, wave that stick at her. That's better. You keep that stick on the ground too much when you're trying to start her. Okay. So this is the way she cuts in. So keep that stick, wing it towards her to keep her out and then be aware of where the spot is and the pole is. Okay, so now ask her to can her. Reorganize, it's okay, reorganize, get her out of that deep spot and start again. So shorten back up, pull and you go left quickly. So pull right, go left quickly, wave it at her, hit her on the shoulder, hit her on the shoulder. to quit so anytime you say g-o-o-o-d she's like i'm done yeah so now figure out your footing because you have her in a bad spot just start again that's okay yep i would have shortened up the rope and got reorganized instead of doing that little dance with her but do it quickly at her, every time you swing that stick, when she's going to the right, it needs to be at her shoulder or neck. Should I start over? No, you're okay. Go ahead and can her. Well, she's gonna, don't go in that deep spot. Yeah. No, you're okay now. It's that you see the spot I'm talking about because you had her going right through it. I had her, go, I had her going to that one. Yes, that's deep where you see all the footprints. Okay, so start again. Look, keep that stick. You're doing that funny thing with your hand. I know, I keep Don't do that. Not with her. It doesn't work. So be more on her. Well, your left side. You got to be more left before you start. At at her. 
Yep, you swing the stick straight ahead when you start. It needs to be at her so she knows she can never come in that way. Okay. Okay, so ask her to can her. Can her? Keep going. Just ask her again. Say the word. Use your word first. Good. Now T R O T. So keep her going. Yeah. No, no, don't can her. Just T R O T. I'm spelling it because she knows the word. <laughs> so reorganize. This is okay because I want you to do it again anyhow. So reorganize and send her out. But when you send her out, aim that stick towards her shoulder, not the air. Does that make sense? No. So now you did aim it towards her shoulder, but you didn't get your body to the left. Okay. So all this like walking around and stuff, you know, she's taking it as I'm gonna screw with you. <laughs> so when you do it, you have to get your body over here because she always fades this way and block her and then really go at her so she doesn't want to do it. Then you can pick up that stick and drop the other one. Okay, so when you're ready, start. But just remember, she starts screwing around, hold the string on the stick, and then go after her shoulder. That was good. She believes you. Yeah. That's it. And remember, kind of do it overhand if she's cutting in. Yeah, that's a better circle. Yeah, now see if you can get her to canter. Even one canter circle is fine. That's good. That's okay. Then you just ask her again because it's hard for her. Yeah. So after this next time, then we'll quit. So that's fine. Now you can quit. Now you can say it because she's done. <laughs> okay. Yep. Now, if you want, you can pull her in or just let her stand there a minute and then you go to her. Either one is fine.